today i will help you to solve some questions based on join so i will use my e-commerce e data set and all of you are aware about left join right join full outer join and inner join so i will take two tables here basically i will tell you the approach how to use different different kind of joins So these are my two tables. My question is, find out the customers, find out the customers. Hmm. Never ordered anything. This is my question. I will give you two to three minutes of time. Just think about this question. These are the two tables, and I want the records of the customers who never ordered anything. So I just want their customer ID and their first name. Is there anybody who can help me to solve this question? Okay. So Pigyan has given me the answer. Select customer ID from customers as seen or join orders O on customer ID equal to or where our order ID is null. So Pigyan is correct. So basically, this table is a table in which all the customer details are there and in this table the details of the customers are there who actually ordered something who actually ordered something so if i want to get the customer name as well as customer id of all the customers who actually ordered something what i will do i will write select i'll come down i will write from I have to use two tables here. Firstly, I will use customers table. Give it a reference as C. And I will join my orders table and give it a reference as O. Now I will drop my on condition on which I can able to join that thing. So customer ID is the matching column on which we can join these things. So C dot customer ID is equal to O dot customer ID. So this is how I'm able to join these two tables. Now I will select the things that I want. So I want my customer ID. So this customer ID is present in, present in both the tables. So I have to give the reference of this customer ID. So I will write C dot customer ID comma. I want the first name plus last name, the full name of that. So first name plus I will put a space in between the first and last name. So I can use call concat also, and I can use plus also right now I'm using plus and I will give it a name as full name. Now, after doing this, 
just I will try to make you understand that this is my customer stable. This is my customer stable. So if I will use left join here, if I will use left join here, then I will get all the details of this table and only the matching details of this table. All the details of this table and the matching details of this table. So if I will use left join here and we'll try to run this query. I'm getting a lot of records here. Basically in this table, every person has ordered something. That's why we are getting records of every person. If I use distinct here, because I'm seeing that many duplicated values are there. So I will use distinct here. Then also I'm getting a lot of these values. With customer IDs, there are different names because when I use distinct, it is not this thing like this customer ID is mapped with this thing. Because when, when I am joining these two tables, in the second table, there are very multiple occurrences of the same customer ID from the customer's table. So that's why the cross join is happening now. So for example, if customer ID, this customer ID is present in the first table as a parent. So there will be only one occurrence of that customer ID, but that person can have ordered many times in the orders table. So customer ID will be just turn off your mic. So in the second table, there are multiple occurrences of this customer because he can order like multiple of the times. So when I will join these two tables, the first table customer ID will map with seven to eight times in the second table customer ID. So it will give you multiple occurrences as you are seeing that there are multiple occurrences are there. So, so everybody knows that left, what is left join? So in left join, all the records from the left table will be there and only the matching records from the right table will be there. So if I will drop a condition where O dot customer ID is null. If I will drop this condition O dot customer ID is null what will happen? So for example, <clears throat> in the customer's table, there is a ID one and a person Abhimanyu. ID two, a person Durgesh. And in the orders table, there is a person one who is Abhimanyu, who has ordered something. So only the order customer ID of that person is there. So this one is the customer ID of that person according to our tables. So now if I will use a left join, then I will get Abhimanyu and Durgesh, both of them. I will get something like this one Abhimanyu. But in the second occurrence of two left join will give me two from the that table. Left join will give me two from that table. but the occurrence of that Durgesh customer ID will be null in the orders table. So in the orders one, there will be a null value and name Durgesh will be there for the orders table because in orders table, the occurrence of two is not there. So in the orders dot customer ID, there will be a null value there. So that's why I dropped a null value in the filter where O dot customer ID is null, where in the orders table, if that customer ID is not matching with the orders table in that place in the orders table, it will be null. So that's why I dropped a fil filter here. So now if I will run this thing, it's giving me something like this. But if I want to solve this question in a correct manner, if I will use only the customer ID because names can be there name duplicate name can be there so if i will use something like this select customer id so 
I told you why we are getting these multiple values. We are getting these multiple values because it's a cross join operation. And if I will use distinct here, why it's not working my cursor. Okay. So only these are the two customer IDs who have never ordered anything. These are the two customer IDs which are present in the customer's table but have never ordered anything. Everybody was able to understand what is this question and how we are able to solve this. So these are the two customer IDs who never ordered anything from the orders table. Because their occurrence in the customer ID column from the orders table is null. Their occurrence from the customer ID column in the orders table is null. So these are the two customers who have never ordered anything. And if you want to show, see that thing, so if I will write something like this, c.customer ID, comma o.customer ID, And I will run this query. See, for these two IDs, we are getting multiple null values because they are not present there. That's why in every column we are getting null. But see, only two customer IDs are there. Three, four, five, six, seven is duplicated many times, and five, seven, eight, eight, five, nine is duplicated many times. So if I will use a distinct here. See, two customer IDs are there where the customer ID in the orders table is null, which means these are the two customers who have never ordered anything. Everybody is clear in this question? If you will do an inner join, for example, if you will do an inner join, then you will only get the customers who have ordered something. If you will do our inner join, then you will only get the customers who have ordered something because in both the table, only the matching records will be there. But if you will do a left join at that point of time, you will get all the records from the customer's table and only the matching records from the orders table. So if you will do a left join, then the mapping of those customers who have never ordered anything will be null in the orders dot customer ID column. And if you will drop a filter where O dot customer ID is null, which will help you to find out the customer who have never ordered anything. So everybody is clear till here. Just ping me in the chat box. The person who is not clear can ping on the chat box. I will again explain this thing. This question is most of the times this question is asked in interviews and this question is also available on lead code. So let's start with the second question. If you will use Muhammad Ali, if you will use outer join, so at that point of time, what will happen? all the firstly all the matching columns will come for firstly all the matching records will come those who are presented in both the tables then after that all the non-matching records from the orders table will be there and all the non-matching records from the customers table will be there so in that thing you have to apply two where conditions but left join in you have to apply only one uh, where condition in the orders column in the customer or in the customer ID column in the orders table. So that's why I haven't used auto join. You can do it with auto join also, but left join will be the good approach for doing this. It's just the if it's just that you have to play with the filters. You can do any join question with any join condition, but you have to play with the filters. So let's do the next one. I will copy this thing from here and please don't uh, like just try to understand this question. 
So now my question is, I want top 10 customers This is my question. These are the two tables and this is my question. I want customer name also. Let's try to solve this. Any one of you who wants to solve this question can like just ping me in the chat box. I will turn on your mic and you can ask that question. Like you can answer that question. Just try, try to be interactive in class. Just try to solve the questions in the class only. The person who will solve the questions in the class will gain some confidence and that will help you in your interview process. If you will only see the questions and see me to how I am solving, it will not help you. No matter you are telling the correct answer or not, just try to solve this. So, okay, Ashwini has raised the hand. So, Ashwini, you can tell me how to solve this one. Uh, first, we will take customer ID and name from customer table. Select C underscore ID, comma listen, name. Listen, 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 listen. You are telling. I know that you will tell the correct answer, but before okay. taking anything, just try to select from first try the join okay. condition. This is the best, best approach to write a query. Okay. So I take two tables, customer C, and I will uh, in order. join orders. Orders. Oh. On C dot, C, uh, C dot underscore customer ID. Okay. Order. O dot, o dot, now tell me the columns. Uh, customer ID, comma, first name. Uh, then we'll use count function. Okay. Count order ID. O dot order ID. Yeah, order ID. Uh, select from. Yeah, then group by customer ID comma first name. Okay, wait. Group by both these columns. After that, uh, order by order by count. Uh, Count order ID. You can also write order by number of purchases because order by okay, yeah. uh, execution. execute after select. Okay. Uh, and you order you by uh, number of purchases. We can also use limit. Ha, okay. But limit doesn't we, work, sir. So uh, okay. often. DESC, we use DESC function descending. Nice. So Luca, Rex, Shirley, Patani, Kya Kya Naam Chodo. So, ha, these people 
are the top 10 people with the num highest number of purchases. So everybody is clear in this? Any questions from anyone? So Bigan, Bigan also given me the correct answer. Priya also given me the correct answer. Abdul, just write the query. Don't write this. Join board tables. Count out right. Abdul, I am walking actually. Sorry, I am traveling and... Uh... Okay. And, uh, yeah. and that's like good dedication that you are joining by walking also. So that's a good thing. So let's do the next one. So the questions will be start like start with simple questions. And after that, there will be some tough questions. So now everybody knows how to join two tables. Now we'll try to join four to five tables and how to do operations on that thing. So what I will do, and everyone has to do it like this only. So when you want to see five to six tables on a single screen, because the screen is not that much big, and you want to see five to six table columns and everything, so what you will do, you will right select top one star from customers table. I will take all the tables that are there. So select top one star from orders table select top one star from uh, order details table select top one star from product table select top one star from category table select top one star from payments table and select top one star from shippers table and I will run this. So now on the same screen, now on the same screen, you are able to see what are the columns there in all these tables, shippers table. And just understand this first column will show you, tell you the table name. So if customer ID is there, then it is customer's table. If order ID is there, then it is order's table. If order details ID is there, then it is order details table. Just you have to use a add a S there. So customer ID, customer's table, order ID, order's table, order detail, order details table. So this is the thing. So these are all the like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tables that I am I will use in the next questions. So my first question that I will, I want you to solve, identify the top 10, identify the top 10 brands Now it is a medium question, you can say. Identify the top 10 brands which are purchased in the which are purchased the most in the month of February 2021. This is the question.
take your time solve this question you have 5 minutes Anybody who wants to solve this question, just turn on your mic and start telling me the answer. Anybody who is able to understand how we will join these tables and how many tables will be required to solve this question? Okay, so Priya is saying four tables will be required to solve this question. What are the four tables that will be required? You can open your mic and you can speak. Ah, uh, yes. There are four tables. We will use customer table, order ID, order table, order detail, and the product table. Nice. Yeah, these four tables will be used. So if these four tables will be used, so first create a structure of joining these four tables. Just create a structure to so select from, from customer C in a join. See, join the orders. Orders. First, you will join orders table. Yes. On. Oh, on. C dot customer ID is equal to O dot customer ID. Dot customer ID. Now again, which table you will join? Uh, we will join the order details. In the join, order okay. details. On. Okay. O dot uh, O dot order ID equal to O D dot order ID. Now after this product table in a joint product C C dot product ID is equals to O dot product ID. So this is the complete joint scenario that we will use. Now after that, what will be the required columns and what will be the aggregation? Uh, we want to fetch the data for month of February 2021. So we will apply the filter first. Where? Yeah, nice. Where? Month of order date. Uh, is equals to February. I mean two. Equal okay, to two. Nice. And, and year of order date is equal to 2021. Nice. Order date is equal to 2021. Yes. Now, after that, uh, we want to fetch, uh, identify, uh, select top 10, then brand oh. picture purchase the top 10 and P dot brands. No, brand is only available in, I think, this table, so we can auto directly use brand. Okay. Mama. Anything else required? Just, I just want top 10 brands. You can take uh, like uh, count also if you want to show, but yeah. So just tell me now what will be the top 10? How will identify the top 10? 
Okay, top ten uh, count. Count. Hmm. Count on uh, order ID. No. Product ID. Okay. Because in every order details, if a brand is purchased, there will be a order detail of that product ID for that brand. Okay. So you can also use a category ID here, the count of category ID. So your category ID will be more relevant for you. So what I will use, I will use P dot product ID. Okay. And as as number of purchases. Now tell me this brand that you have used in product ID. Now I will do a group by group by brand brand and order by number of purchases. So BB Home, BB Royal, Fresho, Dabar, Kerala, Ayurveda, Amul, Claycraft, DP, Good Diet, and Happy Chef. These are the brands, the highest number of purchases. Achha, now. Now, along with these brands, I want these, uh, no, no, along with these brands, I also want, if I will drop a product ID column also, if I will drop a, pro, not product ID, product name, P dot product name, so P dot product, I will drop a P dot product and what I will do, I will drop a group by for that product also because I have used it in the, with the aggregation thing. So now I will like try to run this. The things are changed. Why things are changed? Because previously we are only counting the brands. But if we will count the in that brand and in that product the number of purchases, then this thing will change. So now according to this, the brand mom, uh, the mom's company, this anti hair fall complete care kit has ordered two times this fresho signature has ordered two times in that february month so you are seeing this less number of purchases less because we are taking only one month if we'll remove this month filter if we'll remove this month filter see if you'll remove this month filter then the answer will change now, do you steal product number of purchases the highest? So, are you getting this thing? How I'm doing this question? Clear everything? Hello. Yeah. So, so uh, can you show me all seven tables? All seven tables. Yeah. See, yeah. Yeah, please select and run the run that all seven. Yes. Okay. And please show me the question. Please, okay. sir, is my top three, three brands? Top 10 brands, top 10 brands. So, second table, third table, and uh, fourth table, you can use it. First On table, you need it. Second table, ha, need it, but you can use it. If you have a name, you can use it. You can do it with two, three, four. Also. Okay, that's so, it. She told me, so I write. Right. Written that thing, but yeah, you can do it with two, three, four. Hi, if you want some details from the customer's table, also along with this, then you have to use customer's table. Clear? Yeah, clear. Just, got it. In this question, the approach was just to make you understand how to use multiple joints. Now, one more question I will give you. So, just I will drop one more table here. So, there is one more table. 
known as suppliers. So this time my question will be a little tricky. Is that top one star from suppliers table? So you are seeing that these are the all tables. Now my question is find the number of orders fulfilled by the suppliers residing in the same country. This is my question. One more additional thing. Who will solve this one? Just take two minutes of time to understand, then you can help me to solve. So just tell me how many tables will be used to solve this question. How many tables will be used to solve this question? Yeah, three table, I think. Which one? Customer, order, and supplier. Supplier details. First, second, and last one. Customer, orders, and suppliers. Just tell me if you will use customers, orders, and suppliers. Then how you will join these, uh, how you will join this supplier table with this orders and customers? Are you planning to join them on country? Yeah, I think so. Then how many multiple things will be there? For example, in the customer's table, multiple occurrences of United States are there. And in the supplier's table, multiple occurrences of uh, uh, United States is there. If you'll join both of them, if you'll join both of them, then how many cross joints? Got it, got it. Hmm. Try to do questions based on the things where you don't get the multiple values because multiple values are very challenging to exclude. Just if you are following any question, just try to exclude them at the starting only. Because distinct operation is something that is that takes a lot of time. So right now the database is very like very less. But when I work in my company, there the database is like there are hundred billion rows. Not billion rows, 100 billion rows. Every day the sale happening is like uh, 
10, like 1 billion, 2 billion. And on the deal days, it's more than that. So the records generated are very high. So if I will use distinct clause, the query will take 14 to 15 minutes to just execute. And many of the time query takes more than one hour to give the result. So you must know how to write optimized queries. So don't use distinct a lot. Just try to apply good join conditions so that you can solve the questions in a better way. So just any one of you who wants to solve this question, I want you people to solve this question. Just take a control on my screen and just try to solve. If you will do it wrong, no problem. I will guide you in the path. But just try to solve this. Just take a control on my screen and just try to solve it. Any one of you. It's not that difficult. I don't want to solve every question myself. I just want you people to solve some of them. Any one of you? Today I will ping your name only. Nobody will see it. Okay, so. Hello, Abhigyan, to me, Gardo. Abhigyan. Hello. Anji, sir. Anji, sir. Just, just take a control on my screen. Just ask for the control. There is an option. Sir, I am trying on my notepad, sir. No, just try, try it here. No problem if you solve it. In, in an incorrect way, just take a remote control, click on that option, and just try to solve it on my screen. Okay, just try to solve. Don't write the columns first. I told you first write all the join conditions. Are five removing selects. You can write select and then come down. Yeah. Now write all the columns. Take your time, solve it patiently. No, no, no. It's not that you have to solve it in very fast mode. You can do it. Aram se bhi kar sakte ho Do it with the help of joins. Don't use comma. Do it with the help of joins. No, no problem. I will ask someone else. Yes, please. Sorry, let's just uh, um, so now, uh, can I try? बहुत बढ़िया नाम क्या आपका? Uh, Ashwini. ठीक है लो control मांग लो remote control. Uh, Authority दे रहे हैं अपने screen को control करने के और क्या ही चाहिए इस दुनिया में? Control मांगो. Okay. Ping on remote control. Yeah, you can solve this. Try. Okay, I can write this. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And all people who are here just try to understand what she is writing. You can ask questions from her also. Uh, can I write all the table names first? Then? Uh, do it in your way. Just take two to three minutes of time. Just solve it. The name of the last table is suppliers. Yeah, right? suppliers. Just you have to include one S. Yes. Just put a tab. If you will click on tab, you will directly get that name. Okay. So we'll join these four tables. Just join them. Mm -hmm.
tap 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 don't click on it just right tap I think you missed the order table, order detail table. No, the she, second one. She is using order details. See, uh, I have joined customers and orders and then order details. Is it uh, correct? Ah, right now, till now you are doing correct. Mm, okay. Just uh, in the order details table, it is not underscore. Okay. That's why you are getting that red thing there. Silly. Mm. Now just find out your columns. Do I need to uh, mention the supplier name? or supplier id uh, it's your wish you can use any one of them okay. why use distinct uh, supplier id just, should be unique just listen 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 you are oh, it is the supplier. primary key it is the primary key no not because of primary key also Okay. If you will uh, do an aggregation afterwards and you will group it by with supplier ID, which means mm -hmm. that supplier ID will be distinct because you will group it by. Okay. So no use, no need to use distinct. Mm -hmm. If you will group something that for a, one supplier ID, all the things will be there, then why to use distinct here? Okay. When we use uh, aggregate functions, then not only it will be unique only. Huh, because we will, you will do a group by also, no? Okay, okay. Just give it a name as fulfilled. As fulfilled orders. Hmm, nice. Now drop fair condition. Where customers dot country is equals to dot suppliers. Huh? T dot country. Uh, oh, huh, I have renamed right. Order by uh, okay no we we want all the orders yeah 
I think that's it. Just try to run this. Supplier ID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are the fulfilled orders. Uh, this case, can we group it by uh, country also? Yeah, if you will uh, take a company, a country name there, then you can group it by country. Just take a country also. Just uh, like I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. Just leave it. In India, this thing is happening, which are residing in the same country. Supplier ID 5 has fulfilled 384 orders and supplier ID 4 has fulfilled 344 orders. Clear to everyone? Anybody who is not able to understand this thing? Uh, Durgesh Pai. Oh one doubt, one actually. Uh, in the where clause, uh, the, it's mentioned the C dot country AT is equal, country is equal to S dot country. So yeah. what happens uh, in the select itself, uh, C dot country, mm -hmm. uh, and we use a subquery like, you know, uh, select uh, country where, uh, con where, where country is equal to, I mean, uh, where country and uh, the other country uh, supplier uh, table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, instead of uh, in the where clause, we have uh, C dot country is equal to S dot country, right? So yeah. what happens if you are not giving giving in the where clause and if we give it as a subquery in the select itself? Mm -hmm. So will it work? Yeah, you just have to write something like this. But subquery mm -hmm. I have not told yet, but yeah, you can write it like this. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that in the select clause itself, we, we have the C dot country, right? Mm -hmm. uh, next to the supplier ID, we have the C dot C dot uh -huh. country, right? Uh -huh. So, in that itself, what happens if we put a bracket and write a subquery? It will not work. It will not work. Subquery you can apply in the where clause, no? For the country thing. If you will apply mm -hmm. the select clause, select clause works after the where and group by thing. How it will identify that thing? Mm -hmm. If you want mm -hmm. to use something like that, you have to join them first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I will teach you subquery, then each and everything will be clear. Just try yeah, to yeah, yeah. On join okay. now. Okay. Zaki, no problem. If you are not able to get this thing, all the two lectures will be dropped on the drive. Just try to understand. And if you have any issues, just let me know. I will help you. But okay, let's do the next question. So are you for finding these questions good for you? Are you really learning something from these questions? Because these questions are not straightforward. Yeah, but I understand. Uh, one one request by like uh, when uh, in this join multiple join itself. I'm wait, I, I was waiting for this multiple join actually. So what, uh, can you give some questions? Uh, how you know to use the left join in the multiple queries? That depends on the question. Basically, the database that I am using right now, hmm. every column has a value in the every other table. Okay. Okay. So inner join is working. 
but so ha uh, just uh, you, so in the left join by like uh, when we join multiple tables which hmm. join will be the left and which join Le- will be the listen yeah. listen listen i will suggest you if you are joining anything then left joining is the left join is the best thing to do because for example if you are using a table like just take an example i will give you an example so there is a table in which uh, order details are there and in the different table there is a fulfillment type kind of column which is telling us that this order is fulfilled by that type so fulfillment type can be ship to home and pick up or store pick up or anything and in the first table you are using the uh, like uh, in the order details are there so for example if you want to do an operation in which you want the order details along with the fulfillment type and in both the table there is a sale order number which is common like order number is common theek hai so now when you will apply an operation like you will take all the order details from the order details table and fulfillment type from the fulfillment table and you will join them on the sale order number at that point of time if you will use inner join then for all the records that were those who are not present in the fulfillment table will not get reflected to the fulfillment type option so in that kind of conditions you have to use left join basically 100 like many of the times left join is the only thing that is that gives us the best result but if you are asking that which table to left and which table to right the answer is if you want all the records from the t- right table for example if these two tables are there and if you want all the details without missing any details from the orders table and you want all the matching details from the customer tables which means if there is nothing in customer table for that detail in order it will get a null value but you want all the order details in your query then if orders table is at the right side of the join then you will use right join now if you want all the details from the customer table and in orders table you only want the details for the customer who have actually ordered then this time you have to use left join because customer table is at your left of the join clear abdul yes bhai yes 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 so when we use the left join in the second second table like you know uh, for example order details right hmm. so when you put a left ha huh? uh, so now what will this be the complete table listen the output from this complete join output from this complete join will be considered as left table if you will use left join here and on that you will get all the records from this join exact join details the what are the record that are coming in the, that join you will get all the details from that and now the all the details from these join will be considered as your left table if you will do a left join so all the details from this will be there and only the matching details from this order details will be there clear all right bhai all right so i was bit confused if you put left so i thought customers will be the left and uh, orders will be the right so what i understand is that the entire join the previous Results, join yeah. will be the left table okay okay understood understood so now the next question again execute all these things today i will give you an assignment also based on this in which many questions will be there so now the question is so there is a scenario going on in this uh, company database that i am showing you the scenario is the leadership the company leadership wants to know that 
who are the customers who only ordered ordered once in last 6 months in last 6 months in last 6 months so that they can like ashwini you can uh, like uh, just you are controlling my screen okay so now theek hai so in last 6 months so that they can provide them some offers they can provide them some offers to prevent customer so this is my question so this is my question and you have to answer this so right now you are not aware about sub query a lot so i will give you a simple thing january to uh or may to october may to october 2021 who will help me to solve this one mumbai shall i try ha ha you can try okay take uh, control on my screen just write no no <laughs> uh, actually i'm phone by okay okay, okay. Actually, yeah okay. so basically select hmm the customers okay basically we have to join two tables customers uh, from customer uh join um, customer id uh, customer id equal to customer id c dot customer id equal to o dot customer id uh then again uh, yeah uh we have to put customer uh, id mm mm-hmm. customer id c dot customer id mm. and uh, yeah c dot customer id and uh, uh, orders count of orders order id o dot order id as count and uh, yeah now in the where clause Five dollar. Shall I give ten dollar? Yeah, the way it was. Uh, order date. Yeah. Order date. Um, the date. Uh, month. Uh, May. Between yeah, between uh, May and uh, between May. After that, uh, group by group by customer ID.
After that, order by. Why order by? Anybody of you can tell me what will be used next? Having having clause. Having clause. Having count of order ID is equal to one. Sir, year order date equal to twenty twenty one. Yeah. लड़के ही आंसर दे रही हैं लड़के और क्या कर रहे हैं भाई अब्दुल तुम्हीं ने आंसर दिया हैविंग काउंट इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 1 सॉरी ओके 1 एंड हियर आई हैव टू फिल्टर फॉर द ईयर आल्सो एंड ईयर ऑफ ऑर्डर डेट इक्वल टू 2021 ईयर ऑफ ऑर्डर डेट इज इक्वल टू 2021 तो भैया ये सारी कस्टमर आईडी ना थर्टी एट इनको ऑफर दे दो दीज आर द कस्टमर आईडी विच कैन गेट द ऑफर अच्छा जस्ट टेल यू लिटिल बिट अबाउट सब क्वेरी आई विल अगेन टीच यू सब क्वेरी बाई यू कैन यूज द सेम प्रीवियस थिंग यू सेड राइट सिक्स मंथ्स लेस देन सिक्स मंथ्स सो कैन बी यूज द सेम थिंग इन दर वेयर प्लस वाई नॉट वॉट लेस देन अच्छा लेस देन सिक्स मंथ्स थिंग Yeah, yeah. Okay. Starting date can be. Minimum date six months. Okay, okay. We can use date definitely. We can use date add. And date add firstly will be month, comma, minus six, comma. Select. max of order date max of order date from my order table and this time firstly we have to take out because this date add function will not take that value Is equal to six and year order. I think it will work now. No, so that okay, okay, okay. So basically, this is the thing. This is we are taking the max order date here, but it is not compatible. So it's giving me a value of tiny int. So this is a data type error. But if you want to do it something like this. so you know that date add is basically adding some month like date add is a thing in which you can add some intervals so i want to add 6 months so i will not add 6 months i will decrease 6 months because i am taking the max date here so from the max date i am reducing the 6 months with the month interval but it is not taking that value because there there is a data type mismatch so it is basically a sub query in which in the maximum date for the date last date for example if you have a table and in that table the last date last entry date is 2 august 2021 so if you will get the select max order date from orders table it will give you the maximum date which will be 2 august 2021 and from that you are excluding 6 months here But due to this uh, just tiny int, just wait. Cast as date. I think it can work for me. Okay, so this is a clash of tiny int thing. But yeah, if you want to do something like this, you can also do it like you can take the max order date. 
so if i will take okay i can do one more thing for this this will also work where the data types are same it will also work so it's not a wrong thing it will also work but it's only for you abdul because many people will not able to understand what i am doing right now so it's only for you but yeah if you want to okay okay bye okay okay and one more okay. thing if you want me to do that thing by this so I, what i can do where order date now this thing will work between between select max order date from orders table remove this your filter if i will drop again the date date add will i have to use so date add i have to use because I want to get the six months back data, na? So I have to use date add, and date add is not incompat like it's not compatible with data type. So Abdul, you can do it on your compiler by taking all the things in the same data type because you have to use eight day uh, add like a uh, date add because how you will get the six months back data? You can take the maximum thing, but for getting the six months back data, you have to get that thing. So again, I can if okay. I... Oh, why why can't we use uh, greater than and uh, uh, lesser than by uh, order date? Hurry, hurry, hurry! Listen, 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 oh. listen. If you will use greater than, less than you can do, less than you can do with the maximum date. Okay, but how can you do greater than? If you will know the maximum date, then only you can do the take the last six months, na? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but uh, we can uh, we can also do the current date uh, between the current date. Uh, but current uh, date will give you today's date. Hmm, hmm, it will hmm. not give you a table's maximum date, bro. Hmm. The previous thing that I told you, this thing, this thing is correct. If you will Google Google also, this thing will help you. Only this date add fun date add function. Okay. Okay. I try to cast the data type, but it's not working. So just uh, like see, it will not work because this of this thing. So this is the case. If you want okay, bye. Okay, bye. Like yeah, this, thank you. You have to do it like that. Sure, sure. Just try to put, do it on your compiler. It will work. So that's that's all for the class today. These are some questions that are based on joins, and I will give you an assignment also. You can do it on do it there.